Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and in today's video we're actually going to be talking about the Season 4 Battle Pass for Fortnite Battle Royale. If you guys don't already know about this, the development team over at Fortnite, which is Epic Games, basically teased what Season 4 is going to be about just around about an hour ago. And this is very exciting news, and uh, I'm personally so excited to share my information with you guys and my speculation. Uh, so before we get into this video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff, including leaks and also I have a Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway going on on my channel right now. If you guys want to be in on that, go over to my channel, there's a video that says Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway. Simply watch the video and it'll explain to you how you can actually participate and win yourself a free Season 4 uh, bit of money, I guess. Uh, but anyway, now that's over and done with, let's talk about this awesome new news for Fortnite Battle Royale. Okay, so firstly, Fortnite Battle Royale is very awesome with keeping up with the latest trends and uh, the development team have been really good with kind of knowing exactly what people want and personally one of the things that I've wanted for a while now is superheroes in Fortnite because you know I really like comic books I really like Marvel and DC more Marvel to be honest I love the Avengers and especially the Guardians of the Galaxy hence the name Star Lord uh, but it seems that Fortnite have actually decided to make the season 4 battle pass theme superhero themed and uh, the image that they tweeted out is on screen right now and as you can see it says Fortnite at Fortnite game tweeted out battle adapt win season 4 coming soon and as you can see by the image it actually has season four right there with a an image that kind of resembles the meteorite crashing down but at the right hand side inside the meteorite kind of flare is a character that somewhat looks like a superhero now honestly I'm gonna go ahead and say this I actually called this around about two weeks ago I said it would make sense if a meteorite was gonna hit the earth for superheroes to come out of hiding and basically save humanity and I said this would be really cool to happen if it was you know superhero themed for season 4 and I made a bit of sense to be honest I mean everything I said was very plausible and it made sense because I have common sense and that's the beauty that's that, that's the best thing you can have these days you know and uh, yeah so basically I called it guys I was so happy when I saw this image because I've been so hyped up about Avengers Infinity War lately and I've just seen the movie yesterday it's amazing I cried like twice while I was watching it because I love these characters so much and the fact that Fortnite are going to be adding in superhero characters to this game that's insane now judging by the character himself I'm just gonna take a little deep dive in and say that this character is somewhat based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe because if we kind of think about it none of the main kind of superheroes from uh, DC, which is DC Comics, look like that. I mean, maybe Batman, but that doesn't seem to be a Batman-looking guy because there's no kind of pointy ears on the top of his cowl, which is his mask. Um, instead, this rather looks like Steve Rogers, uh, also known as Captain America. So, I am thinking that maybe the season battle pass may actually be kind of a little bit more centered towards Marvel looking characters. So for example, in my opinion, what we can definitely expect from season four is a character that looks like Captain America, which is obviously going to be a male. We're going to have a, ca a, a character that's going to look like Iron Man. Maybe even one that looks like the Hulk or something like that, you know, maybe like it's a red monster looking thing or something, you know? Um, also, maybe a couple of female variants that look like Captain Marvel. Hopefully, as I'm saying these names, the characters are popping up on screen to kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight on what they look like if you're not a, a Marvel fan. Um, but not only that, I know there will be some DC fans who work at Fortnite themselves. And I bet you that we might see somebody that looks a little bit like Batman. And... Uh, I don't know, I'm just really, really excited about this, to be honest. I mean, like I said, I called it. I knew that eventually they would go with the superhero theme, but judging by this year being the biggest comic book hero event ever, um, it made sense for them to release a superhero theme after Avengers Infinity War came out, you know, because it's kind of keeping up with the trends and they know what people like, they know what kind of popular culture people like, and they adapt that and put it into the game. Hence why they actually put John Wick into the game. If you don't even know, John Wick is an actual movie that was a huge hit 
pretty much everywhere. I mean, everyone loved John Wick. I mean, if you're old enough to watch John Wick, watch it. It's amazing. It's probably one of the better movies ever made in the 21st century. Like, honest to God, movies are kind of getting worse every now and then, especially horror movies. And uh, yeah, these type of movies that are centering around popular culture are getting better, such as superhero movies, you know? Uh, that being the fact of like, The Avengers. Damn, The Avengers is amazing, guys! Especially The Guardians of the Galaxy, too. We can't forget about those. Um, but basically, like I said, I kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit and just go into depth on what we can possibly see in Season 4. So, of course, we all know that there is a meteorite coming towards the Earth. And obviously, this meteorite is huge from judging from what we actually see. This could indefinitely destroy the whole map, you know? And what I think is going to happen is... They're going to release some kind of video where it basically shows these superheroes coming to save the day and all of our lives. And obviously they work together as a team, like the Avengers do, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, they're also going to like stop this meteorite and maybe divert it a different way. Now there is also one little thing that I want to bring up that the tweet actually says, Battle Adapt Win. Now this is a little bit confusing for me because I don't exactly know what that means. I mean, who are these superheroes battling? Who are they adapting to? You know, what are they adapting to? Um, this could also tie in with that the meteorite isn't actually a meteorite. It may actually be a UFO or something coming towards the map to harm the players, you know? And of course, we're not going to be battling off any zombies or anything like that. That's for Save the World. This is obviously going to be some sort of little storyline. Uh, not like really a storyline, but they're going to do a like one minute video of what that meteorite is, why it's coming down, and uh, obviously why these superheroes want to save the world. And uh, yeah, I believe that it's all going to tie in eventually anyway. And so what I want to know, guys, in the comment section below right now, I want you to, get, to actually comment who your favorite superhero is. It can be a female, a male, it can be an alien, a sentient, it can be a robot, anything like that. It can even be an anti-villain or a villain, such as like Dr. Octopus or something, you know? Comment it down below what your favorite is and would you like to see them added to the game. Now, judging by all of the comic book movies that are coming out these days, we've got, I think this year, we've got Deadpool. So Deadpool's a really cool character. We've also got Venom, I believe. We've got Ant-Man and the Wasp. I believe I've got a couple of DC people, but I don't really keep up to date with them. And I know we've got a couple of X-Men people too. Uh, X-Men movies that are coming out too. Uh, like spin-off movies. Um, but comment down below who you would like to see actually added to the game. Personally for me, my top five are Captain America looking type person. Iron Man type looking person. Maybe a Thor. I would love Thor. Um, the Flash. And also... Captain Marvel, I, or, ah, oh, dude, it's so hard to pick, because I love, like, Spider-Man and Nova, I love everyone in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's so good, it's like, oh, and then there's only, like, a couple of people I actually like from DC, such as The Flash, I mean, he's my favorite from the DC side, but, anyway, this has just got into a whole, like, nerdgasm kind of post, I'm really sorry, guys, it's for rambling on and everything, it's just that superheroes are my passion, I really love them, and it's, like, a big hobby for me to read comics and watch movies about superheroes, um, and the fact that it's coming to my favorite game, that makes me very excited, you know? And it makes me have a lot of faith in the actual Fortnite development team because I know that they know what the fans want. They know what's popular around people our age who play this game. I mean, not even our age. I mean, there's 80-year-olds who probably love Captain America playing this game too, you know? They just know what's going on. They know what to add. Um, but anyway, guys, we should be hearing or seeing some kind of images in the next couple of days about what Fortnite will actually be adding to Season 4. Please, if you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because as soon as that information comes out, I will be one of the first YouTubers to upload it within the hour, guys. I promise you that. I make that vow to all of my subscribers. Um, but anyway, like I said, guys, have an awesome day. Enjoy the new update when it comes out. Do not miss out on my Season 4 giveaway. And uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.